Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the grid lines, applying the grid function on the chat. So this grid function will give the lines on both the x-axis and y-axis. So the chart will be having the grid lines. So for example, if our chart is like this, so there is a point. So they, if you if you apply this grid function, the complete horizontal lines and vertical lines will be displayed. So the grid, the grid will be displayed. So like this, the grid will be displayed. And for applying this, for getting this grid for, uh, grids on the chart, we have to use the grid function. Grid function. So this grid function is used, used to get the grid, grid lines. Grid lines on chart. On chart. So here we are having one argument that is called axis. So with respect to axis, we can apply the grid. For example, if y axis is equal to some uh, x, okay. So this is a grid function. Grid of axis is equal to x. That implies so only the x axis lines will be there. Okay, there will be no lines applied on the y axis. So the graph appears like this. Okay, the graph appears like this. And if if the grid function is having the parameter x axis with the y with the y then only the y axis will be having the grid lines so the chart will look like this the chart will look like this and if you are having some grid axis is equal to both both that implies it will be having both the x axis and the y axis the grid lines will be appeared for both x axis and y axis so the chart will appear like this the chart will appear like this so there are three options axis is equal to x axis is equal to y and axis is equal to both so i will execute this one and i will show you and similarly these are the lines right so this is grid is nothing but the lines so automatically we can also apply the line properties line properties means line width line width so here we can give the line width similarly color color and ls that is line style line style so all these things can be applied for this grid so these are all also the parameters given for the grid function so we can give grid axis is equal to both so by default it will be both if you are not specifying in this axis parameter completely grid lines will be appeared similarly ls is equal to style okay i will go with a dotted and color is equal to some red size okay size is nothing but a line size right so we have we can do ls is it, sorry width okay line width is equal to some 15 so like this we can give the parameters axis parameter line style parameter color and line width because grid is nothing but a lines x towards the x axis and y axis giving the lines okay so that will make easier to point out the correct points markers markers right so i will execute the same thing on the uh, uh, system so that uh, if you still having any doubts it will be clarified okay let's move on to the system hello friends so just now we have seen the syntax for applying the grid grid lines to the plot so we need to use a grid function in order to apply the grid lines so we'll see implementation of this one so before going to that we have to import the matplotlib in that matplotlib we have to use the pyplot module so i will use the command so from matplotlib import pyplot and as alias name so give the alias name so that we need to call the functions with the help of alias name so i will just use the uh, x value so x is equal to i will take the ranges from 1 2 3 4 5 and i will take the y values with uh, is equal to some 10 20 30 
40 become 50 right so i will pass this x and y to the plot function so that we'll get the graph and i will use a sh show function in order to display the graph on the output screen so that you will get the output see so i will change the value so that we'll get a different format okay see so this is the graph we have plotting and in order to give the grids for this one use the grid function plt dot grid so automatically the grid lines will be appeared you can observe here according to the x-axis and y-axis by default we'll get the complete grids for both the x-axis and y-axis and if you want to restrict only for the particular axis you give, give the parameter called axis is equal to give the x for having only x-axis so you can observe the grid lines will be appeared for only x-axis and if you give only for y so it will be only for the y-axis you can observe it will be only for the y-axis and see if you give both automatically we will get the x-axis and y-axis for both okay and see here uh, we can also give the grid lines line styles so we can directly go with the line properties so line style is equal to you can apply here so dotted if you give with dotted the grid lines will be of a dotted style okay and also you can increase the width okay l w is equal to increase the width with a two so that it will be appeared okay you go with a one yeah one and also you can represent with the color c is equal to i will i, I will represent it a green color so sorry spelling no yeah so this is a green color or you can observe with a red color oh, sorry see this is a dotted lines with a red color right with the one with the width one and you can observe here if instead of giving the dotted line you can also give the dashed lines so this is a dashed lines and if you want to give the dash dot so you can also represent the lines in a dash dot lines right so we can also apply the line styles for this grid purpose also so this grid uh, function will use it to display the grid lines on x axis and y axis x axis and y axis and here here only we can use the marker uh, markers so in order to represent the points and you can give the marker styles so marker style marker width okay marker uh, edge color marker face color all these things can be impl implemented here and similarly we can give the title function we can give the labels x label and y label we can give the font properties for those things and all these things can be applied to get a beautiful graph okay to get the beautiful plot right so hope you understood this one grid function so grid function is used to enable the lines grid lines on both x axis and y axis so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, grid function feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i'll try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like, like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much